this is the classic What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. This is my own guitar interpretation of the song. I start off in, uh, with an E major 7 chord, which looks like this. And then it goes down to a C sharp minor. And then later on I release this, and that's what's called C sharp over B. Or B over C sharp, my bad. B over C sharp. So this part will be a B major chord and still C sharp in the bass. So what I've got, I've, I've got this really nice kind of a funky R&B groove that we've set up like this. And then I go to a B major chord here at the 7th fret, and that's the 5 chord of E, and that kind of sets you back up to start over again. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to sound out the, the rhythm for you in case that's a little bit tricky. It's one and two E and A, E and a four E and one and two E and A, E and a four E and. And then measure three. One and two E and A, E and a four E and a one and two E and A, E and a four. When you see those little X's in there and get that percussive sound in there, that's what makes it sound really cool and really rhythmic. What I'm doing at that point is I just release the pressure of the chord and I keep my groove going here. And that's what makes that sound. Okay, so the verse, you see the repeat sign there for the intro, and then we've got the verse, and there's the repeat sign as well. So the intro and the verse are the same patterns. What we're going to do now is go to measure 9, and this is an F-sharp minor 7 chord. And then I'm going to put some little fills in here to make it a little bit more interesting. So here's the F-sharp minor 7. I'm going to do that twice. And then B7 sus 4, I'm going to come up here to the B7. Uh, this is B. B7 sus, this is B7, you lift up the little finger. Sus4 means you put the fourth finger down on the fourth note of the scale, which is an E, and it replaces the D sharp. So here's the B7 sus4. B7. And then it says desegno, which is the sign which takes you back to the verse, and it would be verse 2. So um, I'm going to play it from the verse. Okay, now it says pre-chorus, and this is where it goes up. Picket lines and picket signs don't punish me with brutality. So this is the pre-chorus. It goes like this. Which is the same thing we did in the second half of the verse there. So One time, and then it goes to measure 14. And it's a B chord up here, and I'm going to go... So I'm putting these little doodads in here with my fourth finger. You can call them fills or just um, chord extensions. It just makes it a lot more interesting when you're playing. Um, again, F sharp, pre-chorus. B. And I'm going to do that twice. Third time, measure 15, I go here, up to the B, but now I'm going to do the B differently because I'm going into the chorus. I'm going to go, and I'm just going to build up 
up on that beat and then I go to an E chord for the chorus. I'm going to play the pre-chorus in time. And then we go right into the chorus, which is E major 7 again. Now what I've done here, instead of just going back from E major 7 to C sharp minor 7, like it kind of is in the verse and the intro, what I've done is I put some little fills in here to make it a little bit more interesting. So for instance, here's the chorus, I'm going to do it slow tempo. C sharp minor 7. Okay, so here's the E major 7 chord. And then what I'm going to do it's a little fill based around the C sharp minor 7 chord, which um, the second finger is going to stay on the E, and I've got the first finger here on the B. I'm going to slide it up to a C sharp and an F sharp. I'm going to slide it back down, and then the second finger stays, and, I, and then I can just go right into C sharp minor 7. And then after I do that chord, I'm going to come up here, and this would be the other C sharp minor 7 chord up here. So I'm going to do a fill based out of a minor pentatonic add 2 scale, if you want to think of it that way. Hendrix did that kind of stuff. That kind of, so it's. And that leads me right down to this one. So. Um, Okay, and then right to the bridge. And it goes to the key, um, key of A minor here for a second, and it does this on the record as well. But again, this is my own guitar interpretation, so this is not going to be exactly like the recorded version, obviously. Uh, I'm just trying to make more of an acoustic, electric style version that I could do on the gigs. Here's A minor 7. And then I've got my little... And then I do this little bass fill. Here's the first measure, measure 19. Hammer-ons and pull-offs. Then the second half of that still basing it around an A minor, and if you know the A minor pentatonic scale, this would be in there too, that's a D, and I'm going to put that finger down, and then pull it off back to a C. So in time, Then B7, sus4 to B7, and then it would go back to the verse. Okay, I'm going to start it from the beginning now and kind of play through the arrangement, and I hope that helps you and gives you something really cool to play. Um, again, this is my own guitar interpretation of this song. I do believe it was in the key of E, um, in the original key, but I could be wrong. But at any rate, it fits really nice for the guitar and where my voice is, so that's why I chose to put it in this key and play it like this. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.